King Jason, thank you, thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Pythias told me how you saved him. Our debts are erased, and we're leaving this place forever. We make for far off Massalia to the west. With your help, we have new life. Now, if only Hera would bless us with a child, all our prayers would be answered. May Hera bless you with the gift you seek. Farewell to you both. There's demand for flax in Massalia. The stalks for sheep to graze, the seeds for oil. I could arrange a loan to secure an initial shipment. Uh, perhaps I should handle the finances moving forward, my love. Remember, the eyes of Ares see... Yes, what is it? Captain Akikios, I am King Jason of Yolkus. Senator Anaxagoras says you can assist me. Have you had any reports of suspicious men in the city? Well, there's you, and that ship full of Ionians. But we're keeping an eye on them. What about black tongues? I saw one in your market. Black tongues? In Mycenae? With all due respect, sir, this is the most secure port in Greece. Every ship is inspected personally by a member of my guard. Any black tongue fool enough to come, we'd find him before he left the harbor. Can you assign any of your men to help our search? My men are too busy to chase around figments of your imagination. So you'll do nothing. It's one thing to be confident, it's another to ignore a threat. I'll not have you question my command, sir. Between Lycomedes' tournament, unrest in the Senate, and your recent trial, the people are on edge. Now's the time when violence can spread like wildfire. I need my men where they are. Now if you'll excuse me, your highness. Pardon, sir. I'm Alexius, Guardsman of the Watch. I overheard your conversation with the Captain. I too saw something strange in the market. Can't say if it was a black tongue, but one moment he was there, and the next he wasn't. Did he have strange tattoos? Yes, sir. All up his arm. Clean scalp. Strange dress. Moment he saw me, he turned down an alley. When I caught up, he was gone. Keep alert, Alexius. Let me know if you see anything else. I will, sir. But if I may, some advice. Seek the Stork. The Stork? Who's that? Criminal type. Smuggling, gambling, money lending, spying. He's got his fingers in many pies. I shouldn't say this, but he knows more of what goes on here than any senator. Where's the Stork make its nest? There's the rub. We don't know who he is. We've tried to find him, but when it comes to the store, people get... forgetful. He's somewhere near the market, I'm sure of it. Perhaps you can track him down, being an outsider and all.
The slums, market, and docks lie beyond. Do you seek entry? I do. Raise the gate! If I may say so, you fought well, sir. Ares smiles on you. watched a match during the trial by combat. I saw... I saw... This one man had his head chopped off after it stopped rolling. It just... It just stared at me. Is that all? I once saw a severed head open its mouth as if it were to speak. Please stop! It was horrible. But that's the life of the arena fight. I thought that's what you wanted. Maybe not so much. Sina, it's time for you to go home. Find the next Yolkin vessel and tell them by my order to take you back. When you get home, report to the palace. The palace? I seem to recall an opening for a junior apprentice quartermaster. Sounds important. Oh, it is. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are there beasts in this arena? Forcing captured animals to fight is cruel. Only cargo the past this point. Can't win forever. Maybe yes, what is it? I'd like to see your doctor. So what if you do? You have no authority. It's important. Hey, the safety of Mycenae women. is at stake. You're a king and you've proven your innocence. I can't just ignore the rules for you. What exactly is it you want to know? Have you seen anything suspicious on the docks? No one here Any strange passengers Mary. coming ashore? We note every arrival on Mycenae. Apart from yourself and the Ionians, there has been nothing out of the ordinary. The doc reports would tell you as much. You see them? The reports are given to Captain Akikios at the end of each day. And if you've met Captain Akikios, you know he won't release them unless you had approval from the entire Senate. I wouldn't hold your breath. Athena herself would appear on Mycenae before that would ever happen. We're wasting our time. I'm arena, sorry. I cannot you help you obtain famous. those reports. But I can Dad, tell you, I've seen nothing that would suggest a threat to Mycenae. And I inspect every ship that comes to port. Very well, Doc. Let's hope I'll you're right. I'll give it right. to you for free! Midas himself can win! The man of Mycenae can't win forever! Maybe one of you lot will be the first to defeat Achilles! Right. 
I'm Bolo. Who are you? Well met, Bolo. I'm Jason. Mind if I picked your pocket? Yes, Bolo, I would. You shouldn't be doing that. This must be one of the young thieves Hercules warned me about. Didn't expect them to be so polite. Please! The stork says we'll all go hungry if I don't. You know the stork? Oh yes! He's my new father! He has many sons, but I'm the newest. Bola, can you tell me where to find the stork? Oh no! I, I can't do that! He'll beat me something fierce if I do that! I'll protect you, Bola. I won't let him hurt you. Mm. No, I couldn't. Tell no one who I am. It's his number one rule. Does the stork tell you to pick pockets? All the boys do it. The stork says it gets easier with time. I hope so. Picking pockets doesn't seem to suit you, Bolo. What would you rather be doing? That's easy. Singing! Fish for sale! Fish for sale! Fish for sale today! But the stork says only birds should sing. Says it'll make me a bad pickpocket. He's really very kind. Each month, he gives a fig to the boy who brings in the most coin. Isn't he a wonderful father? If you stay with him, you'll end up in prison. Or dead. But he's the only family I have. Sorry, Jason. I really shouldn't talk anymore. I'm supposed to be on the lookout for marks. Let's not put the boy at risk. I agree. We'll find the stork on our own. Listen to this, Jason! Fish for sale, fish for sale, fish for sale today! They were swimming in the ocean, and now they're on the docks, here on my Sunday. Keep out of trouble. Welcome, good sir. The Khufu offers finest rags and tallow in all Greece. I've no interest in either. I seek information. Khufu offer help? What information you... I'm looking for the one they call the stork. Ah, you and many others. Khufu cannot help you. Khufu, poor merchant, poor and foreign. Khufu knows not... And we take our leave. One moment, foreign king. Khufu offers something else. Khufu, here you have great ship. Perhaps need boy? Two boys, help crew? What? Khufu offer fair price. The guards will hear of your trade, wretch. Foreign king misunderstand. Khufu still, uh, learn speak language. Khufu offer only service. Use of workers, not sale. Your offer insults me. Don't insult me again. Humblest apologies, good sir. How long will you persist in trying to claim what isn't yours? You've been repaid everything that was your due, and you'll not see one coin more than that. You swindler! I'll tell everyone what type of business you run! That vase was mine! And if you sold it to another, then the profit is mine! Excuse me. Can either of the stork? No. But I... Leave off, Forrest. 
It's you who tries to swindle me. What's that issue here? A week ago, I paid this charlatan for a vase he claimed he was to receive my ship. The ship comes and goes, and I see no vase. Instead, he returns my money and says the vase never arrived. And it didn't? Not the vase I thought I was selling you. We agreed on a vase from Kenosis. There was only an Athenian vase in that shipment. Is this not why you pay fees to your guild? To handle disputes such as this? That's exactly right. And since Boris refuses to act reasonably, I've filed a complaint. As have I. Justice will prevail, Hegestratus. I'll see you thrown in the arena before I'm through. Then what use arguing further? Why not wait until the Guild decides this case? You'd like that, wouldn't you, Hegestratus? But I won't give you a moment's rest until I get what's mine. Shout until your voice is gone, Forrest. It won't change the facts. A restorative elixir after your grand fight. Fresh goat's blood mixed with honey and seawater for a start. No thank you. I'm seeking the one they call the Stork. A st My neighbor Hippie has mentioned him before. I think her son is in some trouble with a man. Hippie's stall is in the northwest of the market. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Looking for anything in particular? You're Hippia, mother of origin? Oh, don't tell me you're here to collect more of his debts. Or are you one of his so-called friends? Why don't you leave my boy alone? It's because of scoundrels like you he's in this trouble with the stork. Perhaps I could speak to the stork on your son's behalf. Happen to know where he is? Who? Origen? He went to Hermes' shrine to make a devotion. Praise the messenger, it better work too. It's the last of our coin. I meant the stork. The stork? How would I know? My business may be struggling, but at least it's honest. My boy's the one who got mixed up with that rogue. But he's through with all that now, absolutely, completely through. He went to Hermes' shrine, a changed man. Oh, you should have seen his face this morning when I gave him the money. So devout and honest. I hope the devotion will turn your fortune. Good day, Hippia. That's right, boys. Origin's coin is good, and I'm taking all comers. Who's asking? My name's Jason. I've spoken to your mother. Good for you. I've spoken to her, too. Now, you here to play or chat about my relatives? Origin. The stork wants to see you. I bet he does. I owe him more than I can remember. I'll go see him once I win it back. I don't believe you. Where will you meet him? Why, at his... Wait a moment. No, 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 no. I'm not as dumb as that, am I?
That's right, boys. Origin's coin is good, and I'm taking all comers. Origin, son of Hippia. Who's asking? My name's Jason. I've spoken to your mother. Good for you. I've spoken to her, too. Now, you here to play or chat about my relatives? Origin, the stork wants to see you. I bet he does. I owe him more than I can remember. I'll go see him once I win it back. I don't believe you. Where will you meet him? Why, at his... Wait a moment. No, 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 no. I'm not as dumb as that, am I? Be a friend. No one needs to know who told us. I'll give you a tip. You're not the most inconspicuous group of folks in Mycenae, are you? You don't think people haven't already noticed us talking? Your mother thinks you're here making a devotion to Hermes. She might like to know the truth. All right, all right. Tell you what. We'll play for it. A game of wits. If you win, I'll tell you what you want to know. And if I lose? Then I won't. Oh, and you'll go back to dear old mom and tell her you saw me making a devotion to her. Game of wits, you say? Right. A simple game to test one's cleverness. Here's how it'll work. I pick the game, and you choose who plays first. That way, it's fair. Hope you're feeling lucky, boy. What's the game? The game's a simple one, as old as the hills. It's called Eleven. We'll each take turns playing a number between one and four. Each time a number's played, it's added to the total. Whoever hits exactly eleven wins. If you play to a number over 11, you lose. Simple, isn't it? So tell me, do you want to play first or second? I'll go first. Then here we go. Play your number and let's see whose wit is sharper. I play four. And so the total is four. I play two. That brings the total to six. Your turn. I play one. And so the total is seven, which means I, of course, play four, bringing the total to eleven. It seems I win. Don't be too hard on yourself. There's few men in Greece can match the wits of origin. A slight exaggeration, perhaps. I can't wait to hear you tell my mom how I've been sucked. I need... We just went over that. We played, you lost. Let's play again. You'd like that, wouldn't you? But what's in it for me? You win, I'll pay off your debts to the store. That's a big number you're talking about. I'll pay it. Then what are we waiting for? Let's play. I'll go first. Then here we go. Play your number and let's see whose wit is sharper. I play one. And so the total is one. I too will play one. That brings the total to two. Your turn. I play one. And so the total is three. I play three. That brings the total to six. Your turn. I play one. And so the total is seven. Which means I, of course, play four, bringing the total to 11. I win again, and you, sir, owe me quite a bit of coin. I said I'd pay your debts to the store, not you. You trickster! Tell me where to find him, and your debts are gone, Origin. Hmm. Can't get mad at me for sending someone to pay him, right? All right, listen. The stork operates out of a rag stand in the slums. Egyptian fellow, name of Khufu. Be prepared to hand over a hefty sum. Make sure he knows who it's for. I'll keep my word. You did the right thing. Foreign king honors Khufu yet again. I don't think so. I believe who I honor is the stork. So, you've learned my little secret. 
Was it Origin who told you? Do him no harm. I'll pay his entire debt, if you answer some questions. Keep your coin. His debts are forgiven. I'm actually pleased he sent you here. There might be something you can do for me. But first, what can the stock do for you? There are black tongues on my side. Have you heard anything? Rumors, whispers in the streets. Whispers of what? What you already know. Black tongues in Mycenae. More than one. Other rumors too. Honorable Patroclus speaks with Ionians in private. I wonder what about. Those mercenaries fight in the arena. What's so strange about that? I hear Patroclus offered a contract to an Ionian champion named Doka. No one's seen a champion of Ionia. They don't leave their homeland. Stranger still, only one man has entered the tournament. Who do you think it is? The Ionian champion. Correct. Dokan is unopposed. Not even Achilles has agreed to fight. Does everyone fear this Ionian? Even Achilles? May I suggest you put that question? to Patroclus. Now, you have been given something of value, yes? I would expect something of value in return. I don't deal with criminals, Khufu. Don't be hasty. What I want and what you want are the same. I could care less if the Ionian wins or loses. Business goes on. But if there's only one fighter, we don't have a tournament. No tournament, no gambling. No gambling, no business for Khufu. You could convince Achilles to enter the tournament. He respects you. Why? So you can turn a profit from your gambling business? Think on this. If Achilles wins, Mycenae will proudly accept the rule of a native son. If Dokkan wins, there will be civil war. I hate to agree with him, but he's right, Jason. Very well. We'll go speak to Patroclus and Achilles. Something doesn't add up here. Humble gratitude. Khufu keep Little Spy's work hard. If Khufu learn more, Little Spy come to you.